हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर दिस इज़ द सिक्सटींथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वेरियस इश्यूज दैट आर देयर इन इरिगेशन एंड वाटर मैनेजमेंट इन आर कंट्री ओके सो लेट अस फर्स्ट डायरेक्टली फोकस अपॉन व्हाट आर द वेरियस इशूज द फर्स्ट वन इज ओवर एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर uh this is uh you know uh, too much in the news also you must be reading uh, some news articles regarding ground water being overly extracted especially in areas like punjab and haryana where there is uh, almost free electricity uh, to the farmers and because of that the water tables the ground water table the levels of water inside the ground is falling and this is a very very serious and concerning issue then the next one is inefficient water use so whatever water we are extracting from the ground or we are using from the dams canals okay rivers etc so the water is not being used efficiently so the water use efficiency is low uh, and the reason behind that is that still uh, you know even now we are uh, uh, mostly using the flood irrigation techniques okay where uh, flood irrigation basically means that the water is flooded inside the uh, irrigation field okay on the land and uh, uh, and because of this uh, you know there is lot of losses in the water maybe uh, you know evaporation loss and um, you know many other types of losses and it is estimated that almost 30 to 40% of water is lost because of this flood irrigation technique so we should focus more upon the micro irrigation which will stay uh, which will study later on okay so inefficient water use is the second uh is uh, is the second issue or uh, you know drawback of the indian irrigation then the next one is poor maintenance so whatever irrigation systems we have created they suffer from poor irrigation uh they suffer from poor maintenance actually so uh, you know the canals and the tanks that we have created we have uh, you know uh, dug uh they suffer from siltation leakages and neglect so because of lack of funding or poverty issues in the farmers they are not able to maintain them properly so poor maintenance is another important issue then there is regional disparities in our country so there is uneven irrigation development across various states so not all the states are having good irrigation systems so that again we have seen regional disparity another issue climate change is a big big uh, very big problem erratic monsoons and droughts affect water availability also many of these irrigation systems like canal irrigation you know even the small water tanks which are present in the individual farmers uh, field or maybe on a community uh, level they depend on the monsoon water actually and if the monsoon is not um you know sufficient then you know this kind of irrigation systems uh, obviously will suffer so climate change is another uh, problem to the irrigation system of our country and high costs obviously this to create these irrigation systems involve lot of finances micro irrigation and tube well irrigation require significant front load investment actually okay so you know you have to invest a lot of money uh, for getting these uh, irrigation systems installed in your farms so again high cost is another issue so these are some of the issues now uh, you know we'll also focus on depletion of water sources so this is um, you know important topic from upsc point of view uh, india faces severe water stress due to over exploitation of water resources particularly ground water which is critical for irrigation okay so we have already seen this ground water decline so let us look at some of the facts and figures um so haryana the state of haryana the extraction rate is 136% of recharge so how much ever ground water is getting recharged every year haryana state is extracting 136% of it that is more than what is getting recharged meaning more water is withdrawn than naturally replenished so see obviously the water table will fall 14 districts are classified as red zones critically over exploited by the central ground water board so all, already 14 districts have been classified under the red zone category meaning critically over exploited meaning the water table has fallen so low that you know they might dry up uh, they may dry up very very soon so you know a very very 
alarming situation and other affected areas are there in punjab rajasthan parts of uttar pradesh uh, and, uh, you know they also face groundwater depletion problem now what are the causes of this depletion why depletion has happened uh, so you know again the answer is obvious but let us list them here the number one is unchecked tube wells you know people they'll keep you know uh, digging tube wells wherever they want and will withdraw un uh, you know unchecked unbridled amount of water so widespread use of tube wells often subsidized by free electricity leads to over extraction so over extraction and why this over extraction happens because of this unchecked tube wells so people just need to dig a tube well in their farm which is and then obviously they get free electricity or subsidized electricity they can run the motor pump and then you know they can draw water as much as they want so this is number one reason of water depletion then the next one is intensive paddy cultivation so we have uh, you know uh, we have crops which are water intensive like paddy water intensive crops like paddy consume large amount of ground water especially in punjab and haryana again these two states you know very very critical position lack of recharge structures are there so we are not having sufficient number of recharge structures from where the water can be naturally replenished into the ground so there is insufficient rain water harvesting and recharge systems like check dams percolation tanks to replenish aquifers aquifers are basically under you know underground water reservoirs okay so they are called like uh, aquifers now what is the impact of this ground water depletion impact is that um, uh, falling water tables increase drilling cost and reduce well yields so for example if this is the ground okay and if, if somebody is digging a tube say uh, tube well so say for example uh, 30 years ago they used to get water at say 50 feet below the ground now they have to dig you know deeper because now the water table has fallen previously the water table was still this point but now the water table has fallen and has come to this point so now they have to dig a deeper well you know maybe say 100 feet so so as to get water so you know this obviously the cost will increase so falling water table increase drilling cost and reduce well yields so well yields meaning um, you know the amount of water that is uh, that is coming out of that well and salinization of groundwater in coastal areas example gujarat and tamil nadu this is another problem so as you go deeper you know the salinity will also increase in the ground uh, especially in the coastal areas it threatens long term agricultural sustainability and drinking water availability so obviously groundwater is also a major source for drinking water and not just irrigation water so drinking water availability might also be threatened okay so if we don't have water to drink then you know uh, which is the primary use of water then where will we get the water to do irrigation or to do agricultural activity or to do industrial activity also so very very critical position of this groundwater depletion now what are the various measures to improve water storage and systems what are we doing or what we should do to enhance irrigation efficiency and water availability india has adopted various measures to improve water storage and modernize irrigation system so we have to work on basically two main things one is to improve storage and second is to modernize irrigation system so that water use efficiency is increased and water storage is also uh, you know done better basically more recharge less extraction all these things these are the two main points so these include large scale infrastructure traditional systems rejuvenation and innovative technologies now let us see what are these so what can we do with the large reservoirs purpose to store river water for irrigation drinking and industrial use especially during dry seasons long term irrigation fund um, has been established in 2016 under the pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana with a corpus of 40000 crore so this fund is established in order to have uh, you know such large reservoirs being constructed and it funds major and medium canal projects to complete delayed irrigation systems example sardar sarovar polavaram projects etc so major irrigation project i had told you previously also but again i'll repeat a major irrigation project is a project which irrigates more than 10000 hectares of land and medium irrigation uh, and mini medium irrigation project is a project which uh, uh, you know which um, uh, uh, irrigates uh, you know less than 10000 hectares of 
land so this is the difference you must know impact uh, increases irrigation potential and supports large scale agriculture in water deficient areas so that is the impact of such reservoirs what are the various challenges but obviously see if you want to construct huge reservoirs huge dams there will be project delays land acquisition problems high cost environmental concerns also exam um, especially displacement issues because the entire village can be submerged so people have to be displaced ecological damage might happen because there may be forest area the forest has to be cleared okay the forest might also get submerged so there are various challenges in doing such projects and you must be knowing that such projects they take 40 years 50 years even 100 years to get executed so very very challenging project then the next one is about tank rejuvenation so you know we have traditional tanks especially in the southern india eastern india so we have to revive such traditional storage systems so how do we do that by uh, you know capturing rainwater and support local irrigation uh, in this telangana has done a good job under mission kakatiya so uh, you know there is revival of 46000 forest uh, farm tanks by desilting and restoring them increased water storage capacity because of that what happens so desilting means you know this is a tank for example uh, you know this is the uh, view uh, you know from the side so uh, so for example if this is the entire capacity and here the siltation has happened so you know the mud has accumulated and because of that this much volume of uh, tank has reduced so what they have done is they have removed this mud outside so that you know this this much capacity is again available in the tank so this is called desiltation okay so, so storage capacity has increased it has raised groundwater levels by six to nine percent because now more water is stored and you know more percolation will happen inside the ground so you know uh, groundwater recharge is also happening and it has improved irrigation for small farmers okay so we know that these tanks are small small tanks maybe individual tanks or community level and they help small and marginal farmers silt removed so this silt this mud which is removed from here uh, can be used as fertilizers enhancing soil fertility okay because they are uh, you know good in nutrient and uh, this project uh, has a scalability also means it can be replicated in other areas other parts of the countries also adopted in other states uh, like Tamil Nadu Karnataka but it requires a GIS based monitoring for uh, you know wider replication right then uh, then the next one is small dams and lift irrigation purpose provide irrigation in semi-arid and hilly areas where large canals are not feasible so in order to have large canals large canals meaning large dams large canals you know you need to have plain flat lands but in hilly areas okay in semi-arid areas where there are no rivers now because these canals or these dams can be built on rivers only right so if there is no river in the semi-arid area or, or the arid area how will you build such large reservoirs so for that small small dams or lift irrigation is something that can be done so small dams is to store rainwater locally reducing dependency on large reservoirs lift irrigation pumps water from rivers or reservoirs to higher elevation so lift irrigation what it does is it does not store water or does not construct any wall on the river so basically if the river is flowing so what they'll do is they'll install a pump here and they'll just simply draw water from here to the farms okay so by installing a pump the water will be drawn upside and these are the farms and there will be pipelines and through these pipelines the water will be spread to various farm areas okay so and from this farm to this farm then there is another farm here another farm here so like this the water will go and you know it irrigates near about 500 thousand hectares uh, of land uh, one project can do that smaller also 200 hectare 100 hectare like that so these are small small projects uh, example of lift irrigation is in Uttar Pradesh solar hybrid lift schemes it uses solar energy to power pumps benefit semi-arid zones with limited canal access okay so these are this is an example what are the advantages it is cost effective eco-friendly supports small and marginal farmers eco-friendly why because you are not constructing any wall on the river you are not you know breaking the natural flow of water so there is no ecological damage okay so it is and also it is cost effective because the project is smaller what are the challenges high initial investments maintenance issues and dependence on renewable energy infrastructure okay so these are some of the challenges of uh, this kind of projects initial investment may be high because you need to install a pump and you know maybe some pipeline etc 
maintenance issues are also there so if some pipeline will burst or you know if there is any problem with the electricity or with the pump then there will be maintenance issues and you have to depend on renewable energy infrastructure because you know most of these are solar uh, powered okay so that you know the electricity cost uh, uh, is almost negligible and the farmers don't have to bear that so uh, this is about the water management irrigation and water management various issues we have seen the solution also in the next uh, video we'll study about the water use efficiency okay how we can increase that by using various techniques uh, and with that we'll uh, we'll be finishing our irrigation part of this agriculture okay so see you in the next video thank you